My name is Alejandra Pineda and I'm Colombian, but I have been living in Australia for the past 10 years. My name is Malika Rahmankulova. I was born in Kyrgyzstan, lived in Russia and United States. So my name is Francisco. I am from Mexico. I'm 27 years old. Hi, my name is Carl Foslo Sea. I'm from Cartagena, Colombia. Hi, my name is Alina Rivera. Um, I am half Ecuadorian and half Italian, uh, but I've been living in Colombia for the past eight years. I'm Mariana Markotic. I come from Bosnia and Herzegovina, from Mostar. My name is Niv Rubino, from Israel, from a town called Haifa. My name is Maria Francisca Garces. I'm a Latin American woman. Hi, I'm Catherine O'Brien. I'm from Portland, Oregon, in the United States. My name is Joanna Nakabito, and I come from Uganda. Kampala. I applied to the Rotary Peace Fellowship uh, primarily because I was involved with Rotary in Washington, D.C. with the Metro Bethesda Club. I applied to the Rotary Peace Fellowship program because I'm very interested in um, expanding on my research skills. Because when I was studying peace and conflict studies uh, at American University in D.C. Uh, for my undergrad, I had um, not just one, but several people tell me that if I wanted to get serious about research in the field of peace and conflict resolution, that Uppsala University was the best place um, to pursue my education. Uh, but more academically, uh, from all the universities that we have a peace center, uh, uh, Uppsala University really stood out in their research, uh, especially their uh, methods uh, component of the, of the research. I chose Uppsala because of its reputation as a research-oriented uh, institution. I applied to Rotary Peace Fellowship because I wanted to uh, go into the field of medical policy in areas of recent or ongoing conflict. I applied to this program because I had some experience, some field experience, but I knew something was missing. I was looking for opportunities to take my skills and my interest in peace, and in peace and conflict resolution um, to an academic level. So for me, studying a master's um, and being part of the Peace Fellowship means uh, gaining more knowledge and tools to do my job better. I applied to the Rotary Peace Fellowship program because I wanted to um, strengthen my skills in research. The sponsorship from Rotary means um, it means that Rotary believes in me. It be they believe in in people like me. Uh, the sponsorship means a lot to me. I think it's the backing that you need, especially coming into a field that's ex uh, working experience, knowledge. I think uh, this kind of sponsorship gives me the the support that I need to go back to my country and apply uh, the knowledge that I have with this reputation. Look. If I didn't have the scholarship, I wouldn't be able to afford to do a master's program. Because I'm, I'm going to be able to do, to, to do research uh, and, do, and learn about the research methods. My time at the Uppsala University will be very valuable. I will go back to the Western Balkans and hopefully continue my career in international development. I think that the first thing that the sponsorship means it's a, a life-changing opportunity. So sponsorship from Rotary International is um, the reason why I can continue my studies. So it really means the world to me to have um, this financial support to be able to pursue a master's degree. I wouldn't be able to do it without this. I think I would not be able to pursue this uh, change in career without uh, the help and support of Rotary Fellowship. So this means a lot to me. Just fantastic for me because I feel that it's going to enable me to have a stronghold, as I mentioned, in conflict prevention. This is something that I am so passionate about. In this moment of my life, it means everything. It has given me the opportunity to, um, to come here to this university. Yeah, I would like to perhaps go back to Colombia and Burma 
or other developing countries and bring my research and the knowledge that I've been able to gather. I want to apply uh, all the, the experiences and knowledge I get here back in my region. I see myself uh, in the close future uh, possibly doing a lot of capacity building. It has to do with the dissidents from the FARC, but also uh, other organized crime groups that have come into play. In the future, I see myself um, working in a place that I love. I would like to become um, a really strong conflict analyst. I would like to infiltrate into an organization that's considered a paragon in conflict prevention because I feel that I'll be able to benchmark their best practices and replicate them in the areas that are most vulnerable and at risk in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, in five years, I'm hoping to be uh, a member of either an NGO or a government organization that works with uh, medicine and uh, medical aid in areas of conflict. I would like to continue on, on peace and development projects. My, my dream for the future would be to be able to be a professional researcher in, um, within the realm of peace and conflict studies.